Keanu a, a big, big game tomorrow against Wrexham. Are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, it's a really important game for the boys and the team. Hopefully we want to go there and get the three points and uh, move up the table. Is it going to be a big test sort of, of how far we've come over the past few weeks because it is our first away game under William really Dick? Yeah, well, obviously we haven't had a few games because of the weather in the last month or so, but um, we started off since we've been playing, got three games in the bounce. We want to go away to Wrexham and hit the win. What has changed, do you think, since they've come in and taken sole control of the team? Because we look like we're playing with a lot more confidence and a lot more freedom. Uh, there's more stability, like, um, more structure to the team. Uh, obviously, them two are like, good coaches, strong coaches, and we just need to stick together now. And We know what we want at the end of the season. We want to get in the playoffs and get promoted. Looking at the game, is there going to be more sort of in it than a usual game, considering what happened last time we played him with Curtis suffering quite a nasty injury and Edgar obviously getting sent off? Yeah, obviously the game at home um, was a difficult game, obviously, when we got the man sent off and then Curtis's injury, so there might be a bit of that in the game, but we just want to go there with our heads uh, screwed on and get the three points. The three points tomorrow could take us to fourth in the league. That's something that maybe we wouldn't have been saying a few weeks ago. Yeah, I think a few weeks ago the boys were, obviously we had in the back of our mind that we wanted to get in the playoffs, but if you look at the table it looks difficult, but now we, we just need a good run of games and pick up the points and hopefully we'll be flying. Does it show sort of how close the league is that Alfredson before Christmas won five in a row, they shot up there, they're still up there, whereas we've put three wins together for the first time this year and we are now just outside? Yeah, I think like, that's what you need. You need that confidence, the team confidence. You um, need to be winning games. And once we're doing that, we'll be flying. I think we've got the, the, one of the best teams in the league and we just need to win games and we'll be up there. And once we're comfortable in around that spot, we'll finish strong. From an individual point of view, I know it's been quite a difficult month or so for you. Yeah. Is it now we're going to see the return of the Keanu Marsh Brown from the start of the season, scoring goals? Because I know it's quite difficult for you because you're a player that wants the ball at your feet, you want to run at people, but with the recent conditions, it's been quite hard. Yeah, I think for the last two months, I think on that Luton game, I think it's been difficult. But um, yeah, like, that's what I just want to get back to that that point in my career where I was fine at the beginning of the season and scoring goals. I love scoring goals, so hopefully I can get back onto that form. And it'll be good for me and good for the team. You've uh, been called up to England to see again. You must be proud of that again. Yeah, I have been. I was proud when I got the message. Um, it will be a good game. A good trip to go away for a different country, different culture, and then come back and get my head screwed on for the club. Hyde has also been called up. I think yeah. you've got probably one of the best partnerships in the league. You're crossing early from the from the right, and him trying to knock it in. Yeah, I think me and Hyde got that relationship. Like we always speak to each other. Um, like we're roommates as well, so I know what he wants, and he knows what I'm going to do. So I've, I can do the best to help him out, and you can help me out. So I think. We've got that great relationship together. Do you, do you think it's a case at the moment of things finally clicking together? Because yeah. we've quite had quite an inconsistent season so far, yet yeah, there's little things now that are just clicking into place, like that partnership, and things just seem to be happening. Yeah, I think like, <clears throat> that's clicked into place. I think since Adi came up from injury, I gave him a few assists, and he's got on the, goals, on the score sheet, we've been winning games. And I think around the pitch, everything's coming together. Everyone's getting that consistency, people like Mara coming on the pitch and scoring when he wasn't in the team before and I think we just need to push on the team and hopefully we'll get the results that we need and we'll be up there. A big miss is going to be Louise May this weekend. How much influence does he have not only going forward but going back because he looks like he gives every player a lot of freedom with the way he handles himself on the ball? Yeah, I think he's a great player, different, he's Spanish, um, he's great on the ball <laughs> and like, he works his hardest for the team when he's in the matches. So, unfortunately he's got that ankle injury but I wish him the best of luck for the recovery and hopefully he's back soon and gets stuck in. Perfect. Another player who could return this weekend is Graham Stack. How much of an influence is he considering we're quite a young team and he's very, very vocal? Yeah, Stacky is good in and around the change room, that, all that experience he's got. You can't give away to Joppy, he's been doing really well, but Stacky's in the team, gives that confidence to everyone, he speaks to everyone and you need that around the squad. Like an old head in the team, but yeah, it's really good that he's coming back and we need everyone fit if we're looking to fight for promotion. We, uh, we spoke about the need to bring in an experienced centre-back on loan. We brought in a 20-year-old instead, but yeah. what did you make of his performance on Tuesday? Because he didn't play like a 20-year-old, he played like somebody had been playing the game for quite a long time. Yeah, you come in and he, he fit in straight away. Like you can see he's comfortable and the boy's good in the air. You can trust him in the back four with Denzel. And he's a really good player. He's come from Derby, he's played a few games there, so I think like, he'll come into the team and boost for the squad and 
Ale ty vole, to je jiné. 